TISA and agreements like it do pose a real threat to workers and their families. And the, the main problem is, is they are really made on the basis of corporate needs and desires, and it's what the corporations want. And when these agreements are made behind closed doors, where workers, consumers, environmental advocates, food advocates, public health advocates can't see the text, then we can't really have a strong impact on what the outcomes are. And then the corporate agenda gets advanced. And what happens is slowly, sort of agreement by agreement by agreement, the policy space for governments is diminished. And then workers who live in democracies find out that their democracies can't be as responsive to them anymore as they should be. And workers start losing uh, confidence in the, in the democratic society. And this is really for corporations to have rules made at the global level where no citizen votes at the global level than at the national level where they can be close to their legislators, it's a real problem. And so what we say is workers need to know about these. It's not some esoteric issue that only happens in Geneva or only happens in Brussels or Washington, D.C. It's really meaningful for them in terms of their right to collectively bargain, what's in the food that they put on the table, um, whether they're going to be able to send their children to high quality public schools. And so we say workers should find out and should let their governments know that these kinds of agreements cannot be made behind workers' back behind closed doors.